Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about aggregate functions in SQL. Now I've got here a normal query getting all the countries from our table and I'm getting here you know, a load of countries and under messages I can see that I've got like 400,000 rows. Now the question is how can I uh, get the number of countries in my table. I'm getting the individual countries but I would like to get the number of countries and that's where we use aggregate functions for. Uh, there are basically five aggregate functions available in all SQL packages. Uh, obviously each package could then have additional functions but I'm going to just handle those you find in everywhere, you know, the basic SQL ones. And these are uh, count, sum, min, max, and average. AVG. So I think it's pretty obvious what each of one, what each of these does, and uh, let's try them out. Now these, all of these, uh, uh, except count, must be used on numbers because, um, you know, I mean, sum, summing countries doesn't make any sense. Min, max, you could get like the the you know the you know the one alphabetically at the front or the the one alphabetically at the back. An average doesn't make any sense. So basically, these are require or, or make sense, put it this way, uh, um, with numeric fields, whereas this one can be used in any field. Now, let's try out count. And the way it goes is very simple. You just say count, open paren, and then close paren behind countries. And then we just run the query. You see, and we're getting like uh, 399751. So basically, we're just counting the number of rows in there. Now, let's say I need to actually, I need to know how many actual countries are in there. You can say count distinct. And that would just count the individual unique countries in that, um, in that table. And if we run that, we should get then you know, a number less than that 400,000 and uh, that counts all the unique countries in that table. So there we have it. We have actually 1,604 countries. This is basically, this, this number is basically the same number you would get if you'd say uh, select distinct countries. Now then we can even try it out quickly. Select distinct uh, countries. And uh, let me just copy that. And let me just comment this one out. And if I run that, I would get the individual countries and under messages, I would then see that I've got like 1600 rows. Let's try it out. And have I done? Oh, I've done, I forgot the prompt, the F, so right. So there we have it. And if I go under messages, I would get like 1605 rows. So basically, I'm getting the same thing with count distinct. Basically, I'm getting the number, this number, I'm basically getting that with count. Right. So we've seen how count works. And the other aggregate functions function basically the same way. Let's try another one. Now here in this query, I'm getting the average of the proteins. And but not from the whole table. I put in a filter, just need that average for those countries, United States, Canada, Japan, France, and Germany. And obviously where that field proteins is not null. And let's try that one out. And you see, we're getting here the average of the proteins uh, per hundred for those countries. And as you see, it's basically the same thing as count with one difference because um, we know that the data we input in, uh, in the database is all uh, strings or text. Uh, we have, first of all, to cast it to decimal. Then we set average distinct. And then we rounded that average to do decimal places. So that's why that looks a bit more convoluted, but it's basically something we had done before and the only new element in here is average and that's basically just like count but with average we just did some pre-work which is basically casting the field to a decimal in this case and then and then we did some post work which is basically 
the rounding to do decimal places. And what is different than the, from the previous query is that we added the filter that we're not interested in all the averages of proteins all over the board, but like just for these countries. Right. And we can also try min max goes in the same vein. So here's a sort of um, development of our previous query, which is basically um, we have our average proteins as before, but now we're also calculating max and min proteins. And as you see, it's very, very similar to the average. I just substituted max and min for the word average. But basically, again, here I had to do some pre-work, casting the, the field to decimals and, and did some uh, post work which is basically rounding then the resulting max or min to uh, two, two decimal places. Filters are the same in this case. Now let's run this one. So and here we can see the result. So we have here the average, max and mins. And, and like I said in a previous video that uh, it is uh, obviously very helpful to use as uh, here because uh, otherwise, you know, you'd have a a weird name for the uh, for the fields and that makes it much more readable now uh, one further question which turn, which comes up is basically um, you know this is the cum the cumulative um, or these are the cumulative uh, you know averages and max and min for um, for those uh, for those uh, fields I would like to know what's the average max and min for each of these individual countries you know, because here we got like basically for all of them together. And I would like to know how is it for the individual countries? Well, that's very simple. You just add the field countries in here and you should do it. Now, if I run that query, I'm going to get an error. And there we go. Why? Because what I have to do is if I add a field, which is not an aggregate function or which is not bound by an aggregate function I have to group by that field otherwise that field doesn't belong in here so basically what we need if we need the average max and min for each of these individual countries then I have to add a statement here which is basically group by that field and any further field I add I would need to um, group by that now let's run that query so you can see here now we got the results and now we have the the averages max and min for each individual country you see like for canada so and so much for france and so on right so uh that's very important that any field which is not bound by an aggregate function has to be grouped by uh, at the bottom and uh, the, the the sequence is like this first comes the where and then the grouping so if I need to add another uh, field, let's say, let's try it out. And obviously here, uh, here something went dramatically wrong. I mean, there's got to be a mistake here. So this is again, sort of a, a red flag that something is not quite right with the data. Now let's, let's group, let's take countries and let's take another field, which is basically generic name. And uh, Obviously, now I've added a new field. Now here, I have to group. And here, it's like with sorting. What do you wish to group by? First country and then generic name or the other way around? Let's, let's go for this way now. Generic name. Generic name. And let's run that query. And so we have here the results. You see now, first of all, we group by Canada. So Canada is 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 the first thing and then we have the individual generic names under canada and then we have those averages max and mins and then you know further down the line we just get the next country which is basically france and then we have those generic names now let's try out uh, differently let's let's group first by generic name and then by countries Right. And go. 
So here is the grouping, and now you think, oh, wait a minute, what's the difference? Except that, like, we got the United States now at the top. No, it is, like, grouped by these guys first, and then you can see here further down, you see, you got France for these, and then you got the States, and then France. So you're grouping first by, by those elements in here, and then by the country. So it's a completely different uh, calculation. Also, the numbers have been totally different. So the order matters. It's like with sorting. And again... Any field you add in here, you got to add it here in the grouping. And then you can have the, um, the numbers you seek, or the aggregate numbers you seek. So and here we've got the same query as before, except we added now the account of all the um, generic names for each country. And we can see, like... Again, the, the major discrepancies in here, and this is something where, you know, numbers like this should be examined because they're dramatically low or too low. And, uh, but you get, you get at least the meaning of, or the, the, the essence of using aggregate functions with SQL and how useful they are. And we can see in, in subsequent videos, they're even more useful because they can be often used as references in more complex queries.